In this video, I'm giving you some exercises to do under canopy. Catherine Bernier from Skydive Vibes, sharing the passion of skydiving and helping you become a better and safer skydiver. So if you're new here, well, consider subscribing and clicking the little bell icon not to miss our videos that we post weekly all about skydiving. All right, so there are some exercises that are very important to do in order to better understand our canopy. And those exercises are actually recommended by many skydiving associations. So I wanted to share them with you so that you can practice and become better canopy pilots. So before diving into the exercises, I want to do my due diligence for safety. So before performing any of those, make sure you are above two thousand feet and that you are in your fun area in the sky meaning that you are at the right place not to get further away from your landing zone and that you take a particular attention to traffic so make sure before doing any turns that there's nobody around you so first let's talk about toggle turns spiral stall and flares so first the spiral if you want to spiral down you simply need to grab your toggles as usual and then stretch one arm and hold your toggle down there. By doing so, you'll complete a full 360 degree turn. And then if you keep it down longer, you'll end up going faster and faster in a spiral motion and your body may end up being flat to the ground. This is fun, but when it's time for you to recuperate, you want to slowly bring your hand up. Never go too fast because you could end up in some line twists. Like I said earlier, prior to starting your turn, make sure there's nobody behind below you and also that there's not too much traffic if there is other canopies around wait for them to clear go somewhere else or simply abort the maneuver for that jump next stalling your canopy this is a maneuver that it's important to do whenever you have a new canopy because knowing the stalling point of your canopy is very important to make sure you avoid it especially in your landings so to do it simple you grab your toggles and then pull your toggles both of them down you're gonna have that flare motion and if you hold them down a little bit longer you'll start to feel yourself fall down. This is normal, keep calm, and simply to recuperate, you simply raise your hands slowly up. Slowly is the key there, because if you recuperate too fast, you may end up in line twists. So I know your heart will squeeze, that's normal, but then when it does that, simply recuperate slowly. Flat turns. Flat turns are very important to know, because those are the turns you want to do when you want to lose the less altitude possible. So whenever you are, for example, in your landing pattern, you don't want to, your canopy to do aggressive movements, aggressive turns. So flat turns are how you do it. How they work, it's very simple. You pull down your toggles halfway. Let's say you want to turn in that direction. You slowly raise the opposite hand up. This way you'll end up turning very slowly without losing much altitude. Some variation of it is to actually pull down further in the direction you want to turn or also doing both movements. It all depends but I know that depending on the canopies if you hold the brakes too long too deep you might end up in a stall. I would recommend you to raise one hand instead of going further down with the other. But all of those techniques work well. Like I said, it's the most important canopy move that you want to learn to be safe above the ground. So practice it and use it. Finally, about the toggles, let's talk about flaring. By the way, I did a whole video on tips and tricks to help you improve your landings, so you can watch it right here. But as an overview, when it's time for you to flare, you simply grab your toggles and then you slowly pull them down both at the same time. A couple of tips that I want to give you is that you want to always complete your flare. So as you're reaching the ground, Let's say you're touching the ground and you still have some extra movement that you can do with your toggles. Do it and complete your movement. When I'm landing, I'm actually already walking when I'm pulling the extra loose that I have on my toggle. This assure me that I'm in control of my canopy 
till the end. I've seen so many people barely touching the ground and then raising their hands up which puts them in a situation where they're going still too fast and then fall on the ground. So you want to make sure that you complete your full flare even if you already touched the ground. When you flare you also never want to stop your flare movement to go back up. So if you were too soon in pulling your toggles simply stay at the position you are and then wait to complete the movement at the right height. By the way, in the other video about improving your landings, I did mention a trick that helped me a lot in timing myself to flare at the right time. So do not forget to check it out after this video. Now let's talk about rear risers input. We are talking about the same things which are turns, spirals, stalling and flaring. But at any time when you do rear risers input, you want to still have your toggles in hand. So let's say you have your toggles in hands and then you can still grab your risers and pull on them. Another tip, you'll find that pulling the risers is a little bit harder than simply the toggles. When it's time for you to grab them, grab them like this. Turn your hands backward and you grab your risers and then when it's time for you to pull, simply give a little input on the wrist. And then after that, you're going to have more strength to pull them down. Of course, you'll see that you don't need to give that much input before feeling your canopy reacting to it. So just give it a little bit of input and feel what it does with those different exercises. And the reason why you'll see it's harder to pull them is that you're pulling a larger part of your canopy than by just using your toggles. You're actually pulling kind of the quarter of the canopy. So again, if you want to do a turn, you simply pull one of them and you start to turn. If you want to spiral, grab again one of them and hold it until you enter in that spiral. Again, when you want to stop, you simply recover slowly. The stall is very similar as well. So you simply grab both risers and then pull them down and wait a couple of seconds until you feel yourself going backward. At that point, you want to slowly again recover. And of course, flaring, simply grab them, pull them slowly down both together and you'll feel your canopy doing just like when you flare. So slowing down and you'll feel your body going a little bit forward in front of your canopy. So this is the end of your flare. Before diving into the front risers, again, I want to remind you that always make sure you are above 2000 feet doing those maneuvers. And one other reason is that you have an AAD in your back. And if you are accelerating too much doing a spiral or something like that under the set altitude for it to fire, well, you may end up in a double canopy situation and that's not a good thing. So make sure you are always above 2000 feet. So for the exercises with your front risers, it's the same thing again. You keep your toggles in hands and you can do the exact same movement. So a turn, a spiral. Again, you can reuse the small wrist movement that I talked about. And if you pull them higher, you're gonna then have more force as well. You'll find out that the front risers are a step ahead in terms of force needed than the rear risers. So make sure to work out those biceps. You'll notice that you'll also lose way more altitude than by using your rears or the toggles. So we talked about the turn, the spiral, and the other exercise that you can do with your front risers are diving. So this is used a lot by swoopers, but when you want to dive and have more forward speed and downward speed, you can grab both of your front risers and pull them down. This way you'll accelerate your forward movement way more. On a side note, in turbulence, severe front risers maneuvers can cause your canopy to momentarily collapse. Try to avoid those maneuvers when you are in turbulence. So of course you won't really be able to do all of those exercises in one jump. So try to dissect those and try them in different jumps so that you have time to perform them between the time you're in your fun area and without any traffic and the time that it's 2000 feet and you need to stop everything and start looking in entering your landing pattern. Question for you, did you already take a canopy course? Go ahead and let me know down below and let me know also which one it is. I think it's very important for 
every skydiver to at least have one canopy course to help you become a better canopy pilot. Because in a skydive, it's not only about the free fall, it's about the canopy piloting. And that's where most of the injuries happen. So you want to become a master at canopy piloting to remain a safe skydiver. So go ahead. I myself recommend the flight one course because I've done it myself. So then in the description, you'll see a link to their website. All right, so if you wanna watch other videos from Skydive Vibes, simply click here. And do not forget that you can support Skydive Vibes and win skydiving gear. All the details are in the first link of the description. On that, keep jumping, stay safe and blue skies.